साइलेंट बार्कर ऑल राइट फ्रॉम द मेम इट सेल्फ इट्स वेरी क्लियर दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वुड बी साइलेंट इट विल बी साइलेंटली ऑब्जर्विंग समथिंग एंड देन वी हैव द फिगर इन टर्म्स ऑफ सैटेलाइट सो समथिंग इज गेटिंग ऑब्जर्व वेरी साइलेंटली लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज हैपनिंग सो द यू एस स्पेस फोर्स यू नो आई हैज स्टार्टेड यू नो आ लॉन्च ऑफ अ सैटेलाइट constellation it's it's not a satellite but it's a satellite constellation so there will be multiple satellites right how many satellites are there is something which is a classified information as with respect to this particular topic which is known as silent barker so what is the use what is the aim of this particular thing so they are used to observe and supervise chinese or the russian space vehicles right so this is the international relations thing between uh, us and the countries like china and russia what we have to understand what exactly we have seen what exactly uh, satellite constellation we have to see that uh, you know it is positioned in the geo station geo synchronous orbit so what exactly is this particular orbit what are the various other orbits that are that are there from the science and technology perspective right and uh, this is yeah this is how we have to this is what we have to see so this particular satellite will have various kind of sensors let's say the optical sensors the infrared sensors the radar sensors so all these things let's say the optical sensors will have a look at you know the things in the uh, optical range the light range right uh, with the visible light range the infrared will have a look at uh, will will observe the infrared uh, radiations from uh, the from the various regions and the radar will have a look at the radio wavelength from the various regions so this is the sensors which which will be available and they have their own different functions all right let's have a look at the various types of orbits which are there so very simply number one orbit would be and let's uh, let's first of all demarcate it with the help of range right so we have a low earth orbit we have a low earth orbit all right which is there let's say uh, less than 2000 and 2000 kilometers right the second we have the median earth orbit medium orbit right which is till you know 4000 kilometers right and then we have let's say the geostationary orbit we have the geostationary orbit what exactly is the height of this particular thing 35786 kilometers above the earth's surface now here we have two demarcations one of course is a geostationary one which is you know at the equator there is no inclination zero degrees and the other would be some kind of inclined it will be inclined to the equator all right so if this is the earth that we have and this is the equator the geostationary orbit or the geostationary satellite would be exactly at the would be you know rotating along with the equator only right on the equator only right that is number 1 but if we have the geosynchronous one which is known as which is the inclined geosynchronous one it will be inclined to some degree to the equator all right now what is the speciality of these two particular uh, satellites the speciality is that they will finish up their own rotation exactly at the same time or exactly in the same time period when earth finishes the rotation so earth rotation is exactly equal to their rotation all right so what does that mean what does that mean so let's say the geostationary satellite starts from this particular point let's say we have the earth over here and both are both are going to rotate at the same time okay they are going to rotate at the same same time so geostationary why the word stationary is used because if it is there at that particular point you know it will stay at that point only because earth is also rotating with the same speed and the satellite is also rotating with the same speed right so if we have a look at this let's say this is there so if earth is rotating uh, over here even the satellite will be rotating with the same speed so it will be exactly at the same position throughout the journey right but then with with respect to the geosynchronous satellite it is not so right it will keep on changing its position it will form the figure 8 in the space but it will return to the same point at the same time let's say uh, let's say uh, this is the earth that we have the earth is going to rotate like this but the satellite is going to rotate like this right let's say it is going like this and then coming back like this the earth is going like this and then coming back like this so let's say at 9 pm it is at this particular position so again tomorrow at 9 pm it is going to be at this particular position only so that is there that is the characteristics of geosynchronous satellite now let's have a look at other uh, types of satellite what are the other types of uh, orbits that we have so the next orbit would be solar synchronous sun synchronous you know third would be sun synchronous orbit so by the name itself i think it's clear that it is going to follow the sun or it is going to be you know in in uh, uh, in rotation with the sun only right 
so what it says that again let's say uh, this is mostly this is mostly in the polar orbit what exactly is the polar orbit you know when a satellite is going like this these are the poles let's say this is the north pole and this is the south pole when the satellite is taking the polar uh, this thing so this is basically this polar orbit now sun synchronous orbit mostly have a polar orbit but they can also be inclined in this particular fashion but what is the what is the characteristics is that you know again uh, the diff uh, is that they will return back to the same position at the same time let's say 9 am right they are this this particular position again they will move they will go and come back and again at 9 am they will be at this particular position so what is the use the use is that for one particular region right one, one particular region they will always capture light they always capture the image in the same sunlight right same sunlight now what is the difference between sun synchronous orbit and the geo station geo synchronous orbit that we uh, that we read about last time uh, uh, just now both are returning back at the same time the difference is obviously in the orbit right the, what is that because sun syn synchronous orbit is mostly low earth orbit Okay, it will be at low earth orbit and this is basically 35,000 more than 35,786 kilometers, right? So this is going to be low earth, right? Uh, geosynchronous are mostly used for communication purposes. Geostationary or geosynchronous are mostly used for communication purposes and this particular sun synchronous or polar synchronous are used mostly for remote sensing. Remote sensing or we can uh, call, uh, call it as uh, earth observation satellites. What are those? These are Earth observation satellites. All right, they observe the uh, weather phenomena. All right. So that is the difference between these two types of satellites. Right. That is there. We also have other orbits, for example, the elliptical orbit and everything. But that is those are not very important. So these were the orbits from the science and technology section, which you had to read in this particular topic.